Fargo ratings are pool player ratings that rate everybody worldwide on the same scale. In another video, we talked about what the ratings themselves mean. Here we talk about what the rating differences mean. Professional players are rated over 700 or so, so if we chose a player rated 770, that would be about a top five U.S. player. Earl Strickland is rated 770. So we will find another player rated some number of points below Earl, 44 points in this case, and discuss what that difference means. Jasmine Ocean has a rating of 726. She's 44 points below Earl. Now, to our knowledge, Earl has never played Jasmine, but each of them has played a large number of people that collectively have many connections between them. So with Fargo ratings, we have a firm understanding of how Jasmine plays relative to Earl. And a major point about Fargo ratings is that a 44-point gap means the same thing wherever that gap occurs. So if we find two other players that are 44 points apart, everything in this discussion applies to those players as well. Jennifer Beretta from New York City is a 645, and Taylor Hansen from Minnesota is a 601. They are also 44 points apart. What that 44-point gap means is that for every four games Earl wins, Jasmine is expected to win three. And for every four games Jennifer wins, Taylor is expected to win three. And for example, in a race to 12, Earl is expected to win, and Jasmine is expected to get to nine. Here are some other pairs of players with different rating gaps. On the right, you see two players that are 15 points apart. This is actually quite close. When the higher rated player gets to 10 games, the lower rated player is expected to get to nine games. That means a one game spot in a race to 10 would be a fair match. And these are two players that might even not have a good understanding of who is the better player. They might actually play all day and the lower rated player win for that day. A 22 point gap is an expectation of one game on the wire in a race to seven. And a 32-point gap is one game going to five. So lower-rated player going to four, higher-rated player going to five is an even matchup for this pair of players. 42-point gap is three to four. This is close to what we saw between Earl and Jasmine and between Taylor and Jennifer. 59-point gap is two to three or four to six or six to nine. And finally, an important one, a 100-point gap is two to one. So anytime you see a 100-point gap, the higher-rated player wins games at twice the rate of the lower rated player. Here's that same 100 point gap. Now it's all the way on the right. Here we have the higher rated player going to 16 and you can see that the lower rated player gets to 8. This slide makes clear the logarithmic relationship between rating difference and game outcome. Every time the rating difference increases by 100 points, the game expectation for the lower rated player cuts in half. So the 400-point gap on the left is about the rating difference between Shane Van Boning and 817 and the average player in the men's leisure division at the PCA Pool League National Championship. You'll notice when we talk about the rating differences, we often use some of the same language that people use when they talk about handicapping matches or tournaments. That's somewhat unfortunate because Fargo Ratings is first and foremost about rating players, not about handicapping anything. That is just convenient language to use to explain what's going on. Jasmine's chances of winning a race to one, just a straight up, even up race to one, is 42%. That's a single game. As the race gets longer, her chances go down. Her chance of winning a race to five is 36%. Her chance of winning a race to 11, like in the U.S. Open, is 24%. While we're talking about the meaning of rating gaps, this is a good time to bring up a problem with the way many people do small local handicap tournaments. It's common to separate the players into three groups, call them A, B, and C, where A goes to five, B goes to four, and C goes to three. And though they don't know it, these players may have Fargo ratings that look something like this scale. On the left, you see two players that play very close to one another, maybe a 10 point gap, and yet they play with a spot. On the right, you see two players that are nearly 100 points apart, and they play with no spot. And here's another problem. If you take the yellow pair on the right that are almost 100 points apart and play with no spot, if you increase the gap just a tiny bit, they now play with a two-game spot, even though the gap in play is not very different. It's much better to get rid of the arbitrary classifications and just have races that are based upon the rating gap. So we discussed here what rating differences mean. In another video, we discussed what the ratings themselves mean. All of this will become second nature once people get accustomed to dealing with Fargo ratings. For now, we hope this has been useful in getting you started.